Air quality, I know that's a big issue for many people. It's not just a health concern. It certainly is a, the number one issue for health, particularly here on the Wasatch Front, but it's also an economic development issue. I signed a bill uh, this past legislative session here uh, just in the last two days that's going to reduce the NOx of water heaters in our homes, and when it's fully implemented, will reduce NOx uh, pollution more than what we have in our entire refinery industry out there. Yes, I am uh, running to be your next governor uh, in this great state of Utah, but I'm also running against the one-party system that we have in our state that seems to be more interested in serving the needs of special interest groups than in serving the needs of everyday Utahns. And this has caused everyday Utahns to feel disconnected from their government. My wife and I moved here nearly 20 years ago for a business opportunity, but it didn't take long for us to fall in love with Utah because it's just such a great state with great people, and we wanted to make it our, wanted to make it our permanent home. And I've spent the last, most of the last two decades dedicated to making, it, making Utah a better place for all of us to live through community service and philanthropy. I've also done this by building CHG Healthcare Services, a company I co-founded 19 years ago that has adopted this same commitment to community service. Thank you, Carrie, and I want to thank the Utah Foundation. Steve and Bryson, Dan and, and Sean, you've done great work, and I am proud to be associated with the Utah Foundation serving on its board of trustees. I think that the work that the Utah Foundation helps Utah do it better.